Hello guys and welcome back to Engineering Hack, where we try to solve engineering problems in a way that's hopefully easy to understand. Today another project, um, another problem in the realm of dynamics and um, we have a projectile and we're interested in finding about more about its position, velocity, acceleration and all those good things. So this is a, they call it medium level problem. It's not super hard but it requires you to do a little bit of calculus and understand what's going on. The problem statement reads, a projectile enters a resistant medium at x equals zero with an initial velocity of v naught equals 900 meters per second and travels a third of a meter before coming to rest. Assuming that the velocity of the projectile is defined by the relation v equals v naught minus kx, where v is expressed in meters per second and x is in meters, determine a, the initial acceleration of the projectile, b, the time required for the projectile to penetrate 0.325 meters into the resistant medium. So a lot of cool things happening here. We know um, they give us a relationship of how velocity changes with position. That's not, you know, um, your usual um the, your usual relationship, generally it's a um, relation between velocity and time, so that's worth noting and, you know, making a, a red flag in your brain. Also, velocity is meters per second and position is meters, so all good aside there. We know a couple of important information, right? We know that uh, the relationship between, we have two boundary conditions, one for x and position, so we know that at x, uh, at t equals zero, the velocity or velocity equals v naught, which is 900 meters per second. So that's an important piece of information. It's a v naught there. The other one is the relationship between um, the velocity and the, the um, x, right? Because we know that when x is a third of a meter, then the velocity is zero because it comes to rest. So at at x equals one third of a meter, the velocity equals zero. Right, and that's important, and that comes from this information here that it travels one third before coming to rest, right? So these are boundary conditions and can be used to help us out in solving these, um, solving this problem. We are going to take advantage of that. We also know the relationship between the velocity and the position. So we're given that this is minus kx. Um, we don't know x, oh, sorry, we don't know k, we need to find out k. And we're looking for the initial acceleration. So the question is at time equals zero, what is the acceleration? And the other question is at x equals 0.325, what is the time? So at x equals 0.325 meters, what is the time? And note that, you know, we have velocity in respect to position. So that's not going to help us finding the acceleration. Um, and it won't help us into finding the time. So we need to convert this equation into an equation that's a bit more useful for us. I'm going to, you know, the principle here is pretty straightforward. We know that the acceleration, which is what we're looking for, is the way that the velocity changes with time. So if I know how the velocity is operating and derive that in respect to time, that will give me the acceleration. The only caveat here is that we don't know the um, we don't know the the time component. So what I'm saying here is that if I take this equation, so this means that if I take the derivative in respect to time of v naught minus k x. I'm going to get acceleration. The derivative of v naught in respect to time is nil, right? Zero, because velocity, original velocity, does not change with time. It's always going to be 900. So that comes out completely. And then we're left with the the way that the position is changing with time. So really, we're doing the derivative of minus kx in respect to time. k is a constant, so therefore it comes out of the equation. We don't really need to account for it. So really what we're looking for is the way that x travels with time. Well, what is this? Well, 
this is the definition for the velocity, right? The velocity, as we know, is just the way the position changes with time. So if that's the case, where I have this, I can substitute by the velocity. So therefore, this equals minus k times the velocity. Okay, so the acceleration is minus k times the velocity. I know that the velocity when time is zero is 900. So all I need to do is find that k to be able to find the acceleration. So here, I'm gonna go ahead and use my system boundaries to be able to find out what I'm looking for. Okay, check out what I'm gonna do. Um, at t equals zero, the acceleration is a naught, and this is gonna be minus k times v naught, right? And v naught, I happen to know, that's 900. So this is the same thing as minus k times 900. The other thing I know is that at um, the position, right, the position at position equals, at position equals a third velocity is uh, zero. So therefore, if you recall the original equation, where is it? Here. So therefore, zero equals 900 minus k times a third, which means that k minus k over a third equals 900, which means that k equals, uh, not positive, um, 27. 2700. So if k equals 2700 and a naught, which is what we're after, is just minus k times 900, then it follows that, let's combine these pieces of information to figure out that a naught is just minus 2700 times 900.